So we want to get started for on how to add watermarks on your document. Click on the start button, go straight to your Microsoft Word. When it opens, open your blank document then. Let's type something. This is how to add water. document so the reason why people add watermarks on the documents is to make it look uh, copyright protected or to identify that this document belongs to a certain company so let us assume that this is what we have and then it filled up this whole of these pages in this manner as a uh, everything here made up a paragraph i'm zooming i'm just pasting sorry that i'm too fast but let me repeat myself this is how to add water mark on your document i only have this one single line and i can select by holding down the left click button select it then ctrl v to paste what you copied or right click select everything just copy it right click to say copy then left click right click again to say paste press enter to move to the next line right click again to say paste or you can press ctrl plus v using your keyboard to duplicate the copies the things you have copied already so i'll copy all by right clicking again after selecting all then ctrl v to paste or right click to paste paste it as many as you want to make sure it fills this page then select everything from a to z using your mouse and then go straight to format it make it look a little bit nice or better off like this then I want to add a watermark to this very page. What do I do? Go straight to your design menu. See where I'm on design menu. Initially, I was on the home menu. I have to go to the design menu. This is design menu. And go to the extreme edge. You have what we call the watermark. Click on watermark. And it will ask you which of these default watermarks do you want. If you want confidential, you click confidential that is diagonal click on it and automatically we have it here if you have a, you take a closer look at the page you see that there's a a write-up which right which says confidential written behind this paragraph it's very bold but on a diagonal view so this is how you add your watermark if you want to customize your watermark i don't want this very confidential i want to put your own text go back to that same watermark and choose custom watermark i'm choosing custom watermark and i can type in this dialog box where it says text change it and type what you want i want it to be my name say pascal and click ok see it's now Pascal that is showing no longer confidential okay it's like I'm gonna repeat the same process again for those who are not following let's do it once more the page has a watermark already and for us to remove it go back to the watermark and click on remove watermark it has disappeared so go back to home how to add a watermark i'm repeating again for those who are not who were not following before how do i add a watermark on my document please follow the steps about to be sure complete this action to stop so uh, this is the sentence I have. I can select it, go straight and make it a little bit bigger, then right click, click on copy, 
left click to bring out your crystal as to free the selection you just made then right click again to paste it and keep on right clicking to make so many copies of this very sentence we want to make it look as if the whole page is filled up filled up like this so this is what we have right now i now want to add watermark go straight to your design view remember we're on the home view so we can't find anything like watermark here because it's not found on the main home view go straight to the design view where watermark is found and go straight to the extreme edge of it you will see the watermark logo click on it choose any of these default like we have confidential confidential diagonal confidential on a horizontal space and also do not copy diagonal and do not copy on a horizontal space so choose confidential the first one that is diagonal come back to your page and take a closer look at what we have here do you notice that there is a confidential right up behind this paragraph that is in a diagonal shape i believe you do see that so this is it but sometimes you may not want it to be exactly this confidential that you want it to write you want to put your own watermark text to customize it so go back to your watermark and choose custom watermark I'm gonna change this and type what I want and this is it I want the watermark to have my name and I'll click OK and this is it it's showing Pascal at the background if you want to see it more clearer select everything and delete the document can you see the watermark now yeah if not Bring everything back again and take a closer look. You may be able to see it more clearer now. So, this is how you add your text watermark. What if you want to add a watermark that is appears in a picture format? Some watermarks have logos, not just text, like the ones that come from school, some big certificates, they always have embedded logo of the school or the organization at the background of the paper so what do you do go straight to the watermark choose that you want to add a custom watermark then on this dialog box please don't rush relax go straight to the first option we have no watermark if that is what you want you click if you don't want any watermark to appear on your page but if not click on picture watermark then on the bottom below click on select picture it's trying to select picture online that is microsoft office 2016 for you everything is online but right now we are working offline offline means i'm working right here in my system i'm not on the internet yes that is what i'm doing so click on work offline then choose from a picture that is in your computer click on the documents or your picture wherever you store your pictures that's your business my own i want to use a particular picture i stored in a folder right here so i want to use this very watermark i will click on insert I click on apply and close this is it the logo is showing at the background but it's very light it's very light sometimes people may not even be able to read it sometimes some may like it like this but if you want to increase the density it goes straight to the custom watermark feature again and increase the i mean the opacity not density increase the opacity of this watermark that is the thickness to make it much more brighter and visible what do you do first you go straight to the scaling choose the scaling you want i want it to be okay this scaling is nice 